that. So, somebody give me a name of a virtual machine that I can create. Anybody? Bob. Hmm? Ken. Ten? Ken. Pen. Ken. Oh, Ken. Ken. As in Wernberg. Ken Wernberg. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to provision this from a template. <laughs> Thanks. My Ken virtual machine. Jesus. So since we're talking about Ken. Superman. <laughs> Great. All right. So I'm going through the wizard. I'm provisioning it. And I, I don't know what storage to put it on. All my data stores, they kind of look the same. I'm the administrator that doesn't know much about the storage. Let me see what I've got here. I've got a bold metro cluster protected. Okay, so it now understands what fits that profile. Well, I found one data store that fits it, but I was told that this is going to need to be SRM and metro cluster protected. So this is going to get a copy of it added to a data store that's already being replicated over to my failover site. So as you can see, it now chose a different data store that meets that, uh, that check. So now I've got this DS3. So I'll put it on DS3. I'll go ahead and provision that real quickly. And while that's doing it, I'll show you really quickly where you can find that. Inside of uh, the vSphere main page here, you can go to the, net, the, v, the uh, virtual storage console, storage capability profiles, and you get a couple of default ones that are up there. Gold, bronze, tier, whatever. You can either clone those, add your own, doesn't matter. But what you get to configure in here is, I'll call this business continuity, whatever. Okay, so I can choose my availability type. I can choose my disaster recovery type, my performance, whether I want to use Flashcast, the this type. I can incorporate some of that storage QoS I was telling you about. I can uh, decide which protocols I want to use. I can go ahead and decide whether or not these are going to be deduplicated, whether it's got auto grow. And so tons of storage capability provisioned in a storage capability profile. And then I can go back into my rules and profiles here. And I've, got, I've created a bunch of policies here for gold, silver, and, and bronze. And so this, you know, this would be, say, gold, SRM, and metro cluster protected. So that would be the rule that I would link to the storage capability profile so that when the, the administrator went and provisioned that virtual machine, he can actually uh, do that with all the automation. So really quick check, where am I at on my slide? I've already gone through provisioning the virtual machine, or actually building the storage capability profile. Did that thing work here? Come back to me. All right. That slide doesn't come All right, so yeah, now that all I need to do now is actually do the affinity groups, the protection group, and the uh, uh, adding the protection group, and then protect and testing the virtual machine. So I'm gonna do that right now by going into DRS. Wow, it's Power CLI man. That's right. Uh, hi, Power CLI man. <laughs> Pete, what are you doing? Well, I'm in the middle of a demo, and I'm actually getting ready to add some stuff to an affinity group. How you doing? Uh, what the? <laughs> yep, it's done. Yeah, well, it's not done just yet. I just created this new vet VM for Ken, and I'm going to go ahead and do that quickly. Uh, and Ken is done. Oh, look at that. It is in my. How did that happen? Through the power of automation. <laughs> really? Yes. Really. Wow. Uh, that's great. Well, then, just hold on a minute. I want to talk to you. Let me go ahead and add this to my protection group at least, and then so hey, I can go ahead. And... <laughs> yeah, it's not done yet. I just created the VM, and there it is. It is done. What the? How did you do that? So, Pete, last night while you were waiting for Southwest to finally get you here. <laughs> Your coworkers went into the demo environment and they did a little searching on the internet. And what they found was a series of Power CLI scripts leveraging the new capabilities that shipped in 5.5 update two, where we can now automate SRM. So when you created that virtual machine, it fired an alarm which kicked off another series of scripts which went in and automatically configured your DRS host groups based on best practices because Surely you advised these fine gentlemen and ladies to use automation. I did, I did. Once that was completed, that went in through the new available SRM API, 
added the new virtual machine to the correct policy group, and then kicked off a test to make sure that it worked. As a matter of fact, you should check your email. Did it work? <laughs> there it is. It worked. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Me, I feel a disturbance in the force. Another session needs me. Someone is doing a demo with a mouse. I must go. <laughs> wait, wait, don't leave. Hold on. I want to ask you a question, but this won't get back here. Gotta go. Well, thank you. He's using and the mouse right now. <laughs> How can we find out more? Done. You are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you look a lot fatter in person. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't have a good friend like PowerCLI man, and you want to figure out how to automate these scripts, there are a couple places you can go. You can go to BM Ken. He's one of the SRM bloggers out there. He's a great TME, and he can actually show you some really great sample scripts. The uh, sample scripts that we created for this specific demo that has the affinity groups, the actual testing, the cleanup, and the actual notification, you can find those on PedroHour.com, the sample scripts, uh, as well as a demo video of this. But uh, yeah, so that's how you can actually automate it with the Power CLI. If you're considering a Metro cluster, a VPlex, or any type of vSphere Metro storage cluster, regardless, you're going to want to read the VMware vSphere Metro storage cluster use case. It's a fantastic document. Um, it covers non uh, prof uh, <clears throat> sorry, it covers all types of storage. It also covers you know the networking considerations, the vSphere considerations across the board. You're also going to want to 